Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Chirp and welcome to possibly the last episode of Minecraft The Code 1. And if you guys really appreciate this Minecraft series, don't forget to drop a like as always. And like I said in the beginning, this might be the last episode. So I'm not sure, we still got five more levels, so four of them are locked currently. And the fifth one is right here. Actually, this is the first one, and we still got four more levels after this, and then we got the end of this beautiful adventure map, and then, after I'm done with the Code 1, I'll be playing the Code 2, because you guys really seem to appreciate this Minecraft series, so yes, I'll be playing the Code 2 next time. So, uh, yeah, let's see, draw, level 26, we still don't have much more uh, from this adventure map, so uh, let's take a look. Okay, what are these paintings representing? <clears throat> Hashtag one and a guy going up or oh, he's happy, he's jumping. Mm, a dead, dead guy. A clock. Um, a U-turn, okay. Hashtag one. Okay. I think I have an idea what could these represent. So like uh each painting represents the levels we did because I'm pretty sure yeah, we did have a level where we died. We did have a level with which consists in time. We did have what is this? I think it's return. I'm not sure. Uh this one is jump. I'm not sure about this one. Hashtag one. It might be number one, like the first level, I'm not sure. So let's see. We got uh, jump. Then we got death. We got time. That's the third one. We got return. And hashtag one. It might be the first level, I'm not sure. So, uh, jump. Let's see. Gone, sound, jump. Okay, so I think the first number of the code is 8. Then we got death, which is 4. Then we got time, which is 6. Then we got uh, return. Was it 2? I think it was 2. Yeah, 2. And the number 1, hashtag 1. First, oh, it makes sense now. So like, eight four six two one. Yeah, it makes more sense now. Okay, eight four six two one. <clears throat> okay, eight four six two one. That was pretty easy. Let's eat some cake. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and like I said, guys, if you do appreciate the series, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe as usual. And uh, yeah, after this map, we're playing the Code 2. So uh, yeah, we still got the Code 2 and the Code 3, so I'll be playing these maps as well. But uh, until then, we're going to be playing the Code 1, and this might be the last, the last episode, I'm not sure. Deja Vu. Okay. Jump boost. Hmm. Okay, this might be a bit similar to something... Deja vu means basically when you go somewhere and then you go somewhere the second time. I mean, you go to a different place and you can recall the some same exact things. I'm not really sure how to explain the term deja vu, but I know what it means basically. Okay, so basically we got some um, invisible pressure plates. And these activate the lights. Okay. So I think we're supposed to form numbers. And this one is a 6. So this should be a piece of cake. Mm, this one is a 0. Okay. This is an 8. 608. 608. A 7. Okay, and it, this is a 1. Okay, cool. I think this is the code. It should be. Woo. 
I want to die. Hold on. Boom. Okay. Cool. Uh, what's it? Okay. Six zero eight seven one. Six zero eight seven one. Boom. Okay. Three papers. Okay. Three papers. I'm gonna drop these away because I don't really need them, to be honest. <clears throat> okay. Boom. Opening room 28. We're doing good. Pretty good. I'm really committed to finishing this map right now. 28. Okay. Hmm. Oh shit, I'm out of bounds. Huh. Interesting. Wow, man, this guy sure has worked a lot. <laughs> Look at that, man. I can really recognize some of the level layouts. Like, these represent the dropper, I think. That dropper level, I'm not really sure. Was it velocity? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was velocity. Okay. What we got here? There's a lever and a piston. Okay. So basically this, uh-huh, okay, so this drops down this quartz block. Oh shit, I almost fell, okay. What's this, dude? This is so complicated already. Okay, a cobblestone generator. What are we supposed to do with this? Mm hmm. I don't really know how, okay, I see a chest and a crafting table. Okay, so I think I have an idea. Because if I remember correctly, when I pressed, when I pulled the lever, I, I've seen some cobblestones. Like, I, I can make this jump like this. Yeah, sure. So, like, I can make a bridge out of cobblestone. That's amazing. Oh, but I can't spam it. So, like, I have to watch for a cobblestone to me to be made each time. Wow, dude, this is so cool. This is actually a really cool idea. I really love it. Is it done yet? It should be good. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. Oh, shit, I took some full damage. Not intended, kids. Anyway. So, what's this? This activates this iron door. Okay. So far, so good. Hmm. Parkour. Not really, to be fair. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we go here. We need to reach this chest, I think. Compass. Okay, what do we? I didn't mean to. What the fuck? So we get we get a compass each time. <sighs> okay, I am pretty confused. Hmm. Can we reach the other side? I think we can. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Ooh, I almost fell. Holy crap. Okay, this level is already a bit tricky. I don't know what to do. I hmm. think I'm just supposed to, like, uh, make a path and reach some place else. I see a lot of doors. I see a minecart. I see a lot of things. Hmm. I see a piston. Okay. So this is triggered by something. This is triggered by this redstone torch. You see? Hmm. Okay, so my only option is to jump there, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess it's doable. But then how do I reach there? At the I think I got a plan. Okay, so we jump here and we go like this boom boom and we jump right there actually no we can't reach 
Oh my god, this is so stupid. Um. Wait, maybe I maybe I'm missing something. Don't you guys think that I might miss something? What does this do? This doesn't do anything. Teleport. Hmm. It's not triggering this. So like. Okay. Um. Okay, let's try jumping there. Although I don't think I can reach that part. All remains to be seen, I guess. Hmm. Maybe with a. No, we can't. Oh what? That's the code. Oh shit. Uh. Okay, I think I might have an idea. So that chest gave me a compass, and. Oh, I don't have papers. Oh, I do. Wait, I can craft a map. I ne I just need um eight pieces of paper, and then I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. Actually, let's try to I have a I have a better idea. So like, delete these papers. Get some papers. Okay, because this might be quicker. I'm not really sure, but remains to be seen. So. Let's get these papers, like that, and maybe we can craft a map. I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Although I don't think you can craft a map with like self-made papers like these ones from uh, a specific level, you know. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, this level is interesting and hard at the same time, and I really like the idea of complexity puzzles. But, uh, <laughs> not really that complex, let's be real. Okay, so maybe I need to make a map, and that map will show me, uh, this, the layout of this whole thing. Oh my god, I didn't mean to destroy that redstone. My game <laughs> lagged for a second, holy shit. Okay, so, let's try to make a map. There we go. Hey, I see the code. Five two seven one two. All right, good. We did make some progress. That yeah, that looks like a two and a five. <laughs> okay, cool. Five two seven one two. Five two seven one two. I think I might record another episode after this one. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do. Hmm. I think I yeah I, you know what I'm gonna do the whole map right now because we still got two more levels and it's not really worth like stopping the recording here and doing another one. Okay, re retrospect. All right, what's this? We can throw this away. So we got a lever. So this opens this. I hear some lava. I see some rails. Oh, this is the room with the changed, the changed level. You guys remember remember that minecart that I've missed and went into this lava? There's some lava here. So, this is level seven slash nine. Okay. Uh, I see some changes. Boom. Good. I don't know where this is though. Hmm. Oh wait, it's actually here. What the? F okay. What the hell is this magic? Did Did you guys see that? Okay, so. Holy shit! Can't jump. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't jump. What? Are you serious? Okay. So like this, this is number two, from right there. <laughs> This is so awesome. Okay, so this is a two. Oh, I don't know what's this number though. I need to take a look and changed. That's for sure. Otherwise, I'm missing details. Boom. Okay, so we got number two, which is that one. Okay, I see some changes. 
All right. This is in the lighting level. Okay. This is below the lighting level. This is in the room with the pumpkins. It's smooth lighting, I believe. And then this one is right at the beginning. Okay, so I assume we have to follow a specific order. So what was it again? I assume this is the last one because this is the last level which we activated. So like, uh, this is 2XXX4. So now we need to head to uh, disappear here, slash changed, hop in the minecart. And yeah, this is how the level was supposed to play back in the second episode. I was definitely supposed to ride the minecart and not really go on this rail track. That's a four. Okay, nice. So we got two four XX four. Nice. And then we need to head into the lighting level. Uh, sound gone. Lighting. There we go. See, this is the lighting level. So, got a two. This is a two right here. Okay, let's see the last digit. Last number, I guess. It's a five. Nice. <laughs> that doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> okay. So, we definitely nailed this puzzle as well, guys. Well, it's pretty easy. Gotta admit. Okay. So what was it again? It was wait two four two five four. Okay, two four two five four. There we go, and this should open the last level, I guess. And then the end. Holy shit, man! I'm so excited to see what's in the end. Last. I see a button. Code not recognized. What? You gotta be kidding me. What did I... What did I do wrong? <sighs> okay. Um... So like, two in... I'm gonna take a hint. I'm, 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 I'm really confused right now. I'm really confused. Hmm. The first one, oh, now I see. So like, the first digit is from changed. So it's like four two uh two five four. Yeah, okay, four two. Okay, four two two five four. Wow, dude, I can't believe I've actually. I was so close. <sighs> I thought the first one was like retrospect because <laughs> you see that change. I mean, I assume most people don't notice that. Opening room 30. There we go. Fuck yeah. My jam. Let's go. The end. The end is never the end, as the loading screen in the Stanley Parable would say. Last. Ooh. Got some PVE right here, boys kills okay so I'm supposed to remember the uh, numbers in kills okay pretty easy I mean yeah should be darn easy god damn it nine okay the nine is the first one good this is really interesting I was not really expecting a PVE level uh, two okay We're doing pretty nice so far. Oh, what the hell? Uh, what? Why is there no mob spawning? Oh, this returns me back. Come on. Wow, dude. I have to do this thing from the beginning. Really? Oh, jeez. I'm dying of hunger. Oh, shit. Free. Okay. I assume this resumes this level, so like it, it doesn't fully reset, which is good. It's actually kind of good. Five, okay. We still need one number. Okay, 
I like how the pink man doesn't have a golden sword. That was really unexpected, to be honest. Oh shit. I might die here. God damn it. Oh man. Woo! Seven. Okay. Is this the code? What? Dude, I'm I'm really confused. I can't believe I just died again. Wow, what was that loading screen? Okay, so uh what was that? Okay. Let's head back to the beginning. Uh I had to mute myself <laughs> for obvious reasons. If you guys don't know what's the reason, I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. So the code is nine five no nine two three five seven. Nine two nine two three five seven. Okay, boom. La 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 la. Let's see if this is working. Is the end door opening? Oh, lelay, who? What the fuck? Okay, let's try swapping. Uh, wait. Let's try to do a two, three, five, seven, nine. Hmm. I think it's broken. I think it, this is broken. If if this is not working, I, I'm taking a hint because I don't want to do that PvP PVE again. So yeah. <clears throat> checking this is already wrong I can already tell that guys alright what's the hint give me the hint boys this is this a fucking joke dude I swear the first round I got like nine kills what this is broken <laughs> oh man. Okay. So what was, what was it again? Three five seven nine two. Wow. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh god damn it. Okay. It should open the last door. Boom. I don't need that map anymore. Come on. Give me the end. Give me the end. Um, holy fucking crap okay so like did you notice something so like there was a quartz wall right here thin oh shit there was a, a quartz wall here and then this hallway suddenly opens all of a sudden boom fucking scary man this is a long hallway okay hints used eight nice Finn finale, I assume. I think I thank thee for playing by Jasper the end. Did you enjoy the code? Okay, and the code to infinite. It's like the level infinite, but an entire map based on it. Nice. So my thought, my final thoughts on this map. So I honestly think it's a really good map, and if you want to put your mind to thinking like really <laughs> straight and hard I highly recommend playing this map guys it was really enjoyable I'd say a solid 9.5 out of 10 there were some problems which I've encountered I would not mention them in this video and there is a wall okay nice so there is an ending after all <laughs> I was expecting to see like a scary face to be honest because this this hallway really would fit a, a freaking uh, scary face. And I see some signs, okay. So yeah, we finished the code one, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this map. Though you are correct, though art correct. Oh, this is the end indeed. 5 equals E, A. Okay. So 5 equals E results A. Whatever. So this is the end of the code one, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this map. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the code too. This was a really enjoyable map, so like like I said before, I'll give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. I've encountered some issues, but uh, the rest of the map was bloody brilliant. So Jesper Dien is a really amazing person, and uh, I really enjoyed this map already. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the code to infinite as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and the subscribe button as well. And uh, until next time, guys, my name is Troop, and uh, I'll see you guys in the code to infinite. Bye-bye.